My name is Masayuki Hirano, and I am the producer of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 was actually built upon a concept where we wanted to uh, deliver to Dragon Ball fans a, a brand new Dragon Ball experience. And Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 is also wanting to follow those footsteps. However, if we simply do the same thing that we did for Dragon Ball Xenoverse, then it's going to be the same, and it's not going to be something new. So we're constantly thinking and trying to put together uh, features and aspects that are new and will feel like a new experience for the users. The story of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 is based off of uh, Dragon Ball Z. It takes place a few years after the story of Dragon Ball Xenoverse. And you discover that the history that you thought you fixed in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 is yet altered again. So you need to go back in there and refix it. And then it will drastically change into a final different story. So. In terms of the base, it's basically based off of Dragon Ball Z, but at the end it will be a complete uh, original story. Especially for this time, we are concentrating on online features. We're really looking into the online experience and online features where players will be able to interact, have fun, battle, and do a number of quest missions with a lot of players across the game. Actually, 300 players will be able to uh, activate to the hub, there will be quite a lot of players. What's really fun is that if you're on a hover and you go to a really high place, it's fun to just jump off. <laughs> it's quite fun. <laughs> right, so I would like to uh, talk about the base. You will be able to go into different bases and there you will be able to interact and communicate with uh, characters in the Dragon Ball universe. So for example, you can go into the Frieza spaceship and um, you know, choose which teams to go on in terms of uh, maybe Zerbon or Dodoria, or you can go to Planet Namek and protect uh, the planet from invasion from other bases. And so what we want to do here is to allow players to interact and communicate and build up a good relationship with Dragon Ball characters. And this is something that wasn't included in Dragon Ball Xenoverse, so we hope players will enjoy that. There are a number of new characters both appearing from uh, Dragon Ball Z and also the movies. We have uh, Trillis, um, Slug, uh, future Gohan, Totoria, Zervon, and we plan to give out a lot of more new information about new characters, so we hope players will look forward to that as well.